Bonjour, Emily Talpa, OM System Ambassador in the US. Welcome back to the channel. Look at what I have today. It's Arbert 2.0. It's a carbon fiber tripod made by a British company called Three Legged Thing. And uh, I want to thank them so much for sending it to me so I can review it and try it out. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's the most versatile, the most well-designed, the most thought of and innovative tripod I've ever tried. So let's get started. So first of all, as I said, really I want to send a big, big thank you to Free Legged Thing for sending me this tripod. Um, I am not a tripod person, but I've started to do more landscape and also more night photography. I want to get into night photography if the sky cooperates. So I do need to have a solid tripod, but also a tripod that I can carry around easily. And that's versatile, multifunctional. And uh, this tripod really fits the bill. It's very impressive all the function because it's not a tripod, it's a tripod system. And first of all, let's get into the specs. Albert 2.0, named after Albert Einstein, which I, I really love that they named this tripod after him. They have different names um, to celebrate uh, uh, inventors, explorers, musicians. It's, it's, it's a very cool concept. So does look small because yes it can actually fit in your cabin bag it is only 16.9 inches so really really small but it is one of the tallest tripod i've ever tried it actually extend up to 75.1 inches so it's taller than i am how does it do that well you need to First of all, open your tripod. So that is a five section leg. And what I love about those legs is that it's a parallel lock system, one, two. And you feel it uh, after the one, there is a little, so not when you uh, lock it, but when you unlock it, it's that one, two. And you ha really have to, uh, do that movement and when you will feel it and that will avoid a lot of issues with your tripod because you know when it's open so once you open your tripod it actually gives you a little bag to protect uh, the head i got albert as the kit with the air head i love that air head that's the name of the ball head and you can see here the column uh, you have three sections now, some of you are going to say, Emily, you told us that you don't like to have a tripod with a center column. That is true. I don't like it. But this one does not bother me. It works very well. Why? Because it's lowering the center of gravity of your tripod and it makes it really stable. Now, is it going to be the most stable tripod if you uh, raise the tripod up to its max? No, probably not. If there is some wind, I, I wouldn't do it. But for certain situations, that's great. And that will enable me to uh, get some shots from way higher up, which is really nice. So for filming, this tripod and how tall it is, is going to be uh, an asset for me. Now, if I don't need the column, well, I can get rid of the column. All I have to do is unscrew this little orange thing right here. Yes, there is a theme. You can notice there are some pieces that are orange. There is a reason why it's orange. That's because you can take those off. And that's why it's a modular system. So I can just unscrew the column and then I can reverse the column, which is great for macro photography. So now this center column is gonna be upside down. So I can get a shot very low and get a lot of stabilization. Or I can completely unscrew this and then uh, I will take the uh, head ball 
out of the center column and add it uh, directly onto my tripod. And now, no more center column, which is really good to have and it's really, really easy. Very simple to do, especially as you have three positions with the leg. So I can completely extend uh, the leg. So right here, I don't want to go in position two, I want position one. So right here, you're completely flat, especially if you uh, get rid of the center column. Um, so again, that's a great position to be able to get if you are into macro photography and you need to get those uh, lower angle. But actually, you know, uh, there are a lot of times for bird photography where I need to be pretty low. So I could also use this if I'm filming. Now, I told you that anything in orange, you can unscrew. Well, this is the case here. I can unscrew this leg and now my tripod is a monopod. I get a monopod out of my tripod. And what I can do is unscrew the center column and then screw the center column to the leg and then I get a pretty tall monopod. Great idea. And then I get the ball head as well. But you know what? There also are some red stripes right here. Well, that's because you can actually get not just one monopod, but three monopods. So you can share them with your friends as long as they get their uh, bow head and they can also, you know, screw their bow head to secure their camera on each feet of your monopod. I mean, <laughs> this is really brilliant because sometimes I'm with my tripod and I'm thinking, oh, I wish I had a monopod um, because I'm in a situation where my tripod will not fit, but I need to have more stabilization and I need a monopod. Here I am, Albert can transform into a monopod. I mean, this is really brilliant and it's just going to make my life easier as a photographer. And this tripod is also compatible with Vance. Vance is a leg system that you can add to your tripod. So let's imagine that you're filming and you need to put your camera on the table. Uh, well, you're not going to use, if I screw those legs back, you're not going to use uh, those legs because that's just going to be too big on a table. I don't know, maybe you have a big, big table that would work, but most of the time that wouldn't work. So you can invest in vents. I actually, that's the bag that they provide with Albert. And I put a vents inside my little pocket here. It fits perfectly. And those are three stainless steel shafts with three ABS balls that you can actually unscrew. And now you can see I have some spikes at the end. So if I'm on a terrain that need the spikes, I have them. But if I need to put my camera on a table, on a wooden table, mm, spikes, probably not a good idea. But uh, those little balls will be great. It's not going to damage my table. So now you have a super, super simple system that you can take for macro, that you can take for video. Uh, with you. And another thing, this bag is also great because you can also hook it up to the bottom of your tripod and this will add some uh, security to your tripod. So just fill up the bag with something heavy and then hook it up to the bottom of your tripod. Now, there's a little pocket here with actually two pockets uh, and that's where I put my carabiner. This carabiner comes with Albert and you don't need to put it actually in your bag because here you have little hooks and now you can just hook it up right here. And that's another thing about this tripod is that with the carabiner now you can tighten all your legs but one thing that's very good about this tripod is that you can unscrew all the legs unscrew everything and clean it with my other tripod I've always been worried about you know 
dismantling the tripod, not knowing how to put it back together. This is super intuitive. I know I'm not going to have any problem with this tripod and I'm going to be able to clean every single part of my tripod, which I should really do, especially if I'm at the beach. Uh, then the sand is going to get probably stuck in some parts of the leg, so I should really do that. And that makes me feel a bit more comfortable to do it on my own. So a big plus for this uh, tripod as well. Just, I'm telling you, everything has been just so well thought of. Big, big shout out to the designers, to the engineers of three-legged things, because they're really... I'm just looking and I'm thinking, you know what, I also forgot to tell you this. This is really neat. They thought of everything. Here you have a level to make sure that your tripod is leveled. But you also have one right here on the ball head. But you know, if you put your camera, you might not have access to uh, this. But you have access to a second one right here. So just convenient. This tripod is so convenient and so well thought of. And the uh, bow head is super smooth. So there is a little uh, knob right here that's for panning. Very, very, very smooth panning. This knob is to control this right here. And this is to uh, secure your camera. So you know, last week I made a video about Ali, the L bracket made for the OM1, which by the way, I know that right now in September they're out of stocks, but they should have more coming very, very soon. So just make sure you, you know, if you're interested, contact them, make sure that you check to be notified when it's coming back into stock. But here, see, this is orange. That means that you can take it off. You can take off your uh, camera and your L bracket so that's it in a nutshell for albert but you know there is one more thing this tripod cost under four hundred dollars <laughs> under four hundred dollars for all the function of this tripod and did i mention it's a carbon fiber tripod i don't know how they did all this for under four hundred dollars i have a tripod that has less function and that's way way more expensive i'm actually going to sell it because i've realized that it doesn't do as much as i want it to do and this is going to be a much better fit for me so here we go i shouldn't have bought this most expensive tripod this was all i needed i wish i had known sooner but hopefully this review was helpful to you. Uh, let me know in the comment, what do you think of Albert? They also have a lot of different tripods. So I invite you to go and take a look. I choose Albert because I think it will do very well with my style of photography, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna do well with your style of photography. Maybe you wanna go and look at some of their other tripods. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, what tripods are you using? If you're using a tripod, when you're using a tripod, let me know in the comments. I thought that would be a good topic of discussion for this week. And also, if you are not a subscriber, well, it's never too late. Click on the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out, mostly every Sunday at 8 a.m. That's what I try to do. Uh, and uh, again, thank you again so, so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. Thank you again too, to Free Legged Thing for sending me this tripod to try out. I really, really appreciate. Again, the, I don't accept all the offers that I get from companies. I know that some companies have great product, but it's not gonna be a good fit for me. So I don't review or I don't try uh, some of the product that they would like to send me, but this is, love it. I'm a big, big fan. And that says a lot because I'm not a tripod person, but this is definitely going to be my go-to tripod from now on for landscape, for macro, for video. So I hope you all have a great week. I can't wait to uh, talk to you in the comments and I will see you next week. Until then, happy shooting. Au revoir.